hopefully we'll get it all to you very soon. But thank you for your uh, feedback. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all for us, too. Okay. standpoint we're not going to accept that property tax increase to pay our, uh, the debt service on our long-term bonds it's going to come from other sources obviously it have to come from the general fund I discussed with Erica the idea of for maybe next year perhaps um, maybe retaining a portion of this money and seeing if that we could put this on the uh, police pension fund that's a long-term obligation it's not debt oriented however it is a long-term obligation on the village, so um, without really disrupting anything, um, given our situation with the police pension fund, this might be an opportunity that we can explore to uh, get caught up uh, sooner. Um, I think that's a, that's a good conversation as part of the whole budget. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. budget process that we're going to do. Right, and so I just throw it out there just to get you on. Exactly. But, but for now, yeah. the motion on the floor is to obey it back. So, um, yeah. Trustee Maloney? Yes. Trustee Cozy? Yes. Trustee Britton? Yes. Trustee Saniano? Yes. Trustee Trevor? Yes. And Trustee Saab? Yes. Okay. Yeah, looks like it completes this. We have then the financial reports. The warrants list is in your packet. Any questions then can go to either Brandis or Erica. And uh, we then will have. Uh, Village reports, I'll start out by just uh, thanking George Carpenter. Um, as I mentioned, you know, uh, trying to put, uh, you know, into words the, the accomplishments and recognizing the impact that he's made is uh, a difficult thing. So I'd just like to thank him for his service and uh, wish him and his family well in the next chapter of his uh, of life. And so um, I really have absolutely, uh, at that point, nothing else. So we'll go around the table and start with Justice Sauer. Um, I had one question. Um, I wasn't here during the Vision 2024 process. That uh, was like a rebrand that the village did before my time. Uh, and I was reviewing it and noticed that the river walk was a big priority. But connecting the downtown to the river walk, uh, I was just wondering if there's any uh, plan or follow-up from that uh, of like an ongoing effort uh, that I could be made aware of or if that's something that's just on the back burner for right now. No, so uh, uh, help me out here. It's probably the river, uh, are we talking about north of 72 or south? Mm -hmm. Probably uh, the north, north. North of 72. This was part of the strategic plan, is that? Yeah. 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 Strategic yeah. Strategic plan. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think, again, I think that's something that I'm passionate about it. I know you're passionate about it. I know, I know there's several people that are passionate about that. And I think we just, there was a vision for it. And we need to start putting the steps in place for the project to really happen what we want it to look like, what, 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 what we see it being envisioned. Um, there, there, there were other bigger issues like financial software and a new website and some more burning issues. I think, still think it's a big part of the process, but I think it's a good thing if you want to take a lead on that and put it in there for the 
budget conversation. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if there was already some effort in place or when you said But actually um, to help out with that sort of thing, if we want to maybe even move this to a committee kind of thing, um, there's uh, grant monies that are available through the county that we I know some individuals that can help through that. Um, the Department of Natural Resource and uh, Forest Preserve that would be able to maybe provide some some help, you know, because what we're talking about is a pretty big investment, and so um, they have those funds for those purposes, and so we need to look for them. So uh, we can make a few phone calls and see if we can present something and we'll go from there. Well, I'm certainly willing to get involved. You raised the issue of the strategic plan before, and I thought it was, I think it was part of the budget. Was it going to be a part of the budget conversation? We were going to kind of look at where we are against the plan. Mm -hmm. and where we were targeting for this year, and I don't, I, I, I'm almost feeling like we've accomplished, all, we've ticked a lot off mm -hmm. of that, and definitely assessing, and then seeing if what we need to layer on for the next, you know, renewal of what the vision is now that we've gotten past some of the things. Yeah, we we'll actually make the first steps too. That Phil and his his team have. Uh, help do a lot of clearing along from the north and uh, along the river a lot of the scrub trees and things that were blocking the view of the river so mm -hmm. um, that's helped out quite a bit. I've got a lot of really positive feedback on that so um, yeah it would be great if we can continue the effort and, and see how it goes. And then uh, one other item uh, uh, it's maybe just a suggestion to consider for when the budget does come up um, it, I don't think that we currently donate to the Dundee Historical Society, and uh, they recently presented to uh, the Rotary Club, and uh, Carpentersville dedicated to uh, donating 2500 a year to them. Um, so just wanted to make a suggestion that we consider that if we don't already, uh, just to, since that is a major part of our city, is our history and heritage, and uh, that they're kind of the caretakers of that. Uh, even if it's a uh, pretty small amount, but showing some kind of support uh, seems like a good idea for us. Yeah, yeah the historical building that we've gone through, it, it's a really a neat uh, you know, tour of the past, actually. So very cool. Well, man. That's all. That's it. Okay. Justice Adiano. I just want to say welcome to you. And uh, um, that's it. No. Great, great. And Rich? Uh, so, if you have not had the chance to uh, take a walk by the Fox River lately, highly, highly recommend it. There is some amazing oh, wildlife yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Holy Eagles. smokes. I, I saw, saw my dogs. I saw a Jimmy the other day in flight. It was unbelievable. Right down the river. Yeah. I mean, we got bald eagles, we have loons, we have swans. I don't know if it's swans. Swoons. 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 Uh, uh, but uh, no, definitely take a walk over there if you can. But other than that, no, no report. Great. Okay. Trustee Uh Well, um, I did see on our Facebook page that our police officers were out on uh, about 72 pushing cars on the road. Yes. Thank you. That's a great thing, <laughs> but, uh, Phil. Uh, to, I mean, I don't know. Like, the post said that we couldn't get the trucks out from IDOT or whoever. But, you know, again, is there, is there a reason why we can't just do that one little stretch, you know, uh, when they can't make it? We did at one point that morning, that yeah. particular morning, when the truck driver was out. So, okay. um, when I was there that morning, the rush hour had already consumed. You were just down there in there. <laughs> um, that particular morning, um, we had um, rush hour. Rush hour had already begun, so we um, had a dip, would have had a difficult time starting. In fact, the backup was well into to West End, so we would have had a difficult time uh, following, so to speak. But we could have pushed our way, and at one point we did plow seven two. All right. Well, Let's see if it was on our radar, you know. I'm trying to 
going to take a more active role in, in doing so and having to find out. I mean, it's just, we don't have a lot of hills, <laughs> you know, so that's nice. But that is one that seems to come up as a problem uh, more than more often than not. Yeah. And Bobby Oh, yes. No curves, no gutters. <laughs> <laughs> Two on each side. <laughs> it's our, our drivers are working on other parts of the community sometimes. We'll and you guys do a great job. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I, I'll often, circle back. Uh, I often see reports on the community pages about how villages aren't getting their plows out, and ours are always out. And I appreciate that. I don't mean to make it sound like I don't. Yeah. 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 We have a couple of very and it stinks because it's not, it's like it's not our responsibility, but we really no. can't do it, you know? Because yeah. we're always, I feel like we're going to last. So. Right. I think Phil and I can figure out a plan or how to better manage it. Processing utility bills, 
um, and start helping him. We can have a meeting with them this week to kind of assess the fiscal year. Um, the previous administration was handling our communication with helping him, so Eric and I are we're gonna get caught up on you know expenses and everything. Um, but so far so good. I can't we haven't heard anything from good, good. Hey, we'll keep on going. We'll go to public works. Roger. No report. Okay. Yes. No report. No. Joe. No report. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. How about uh, Mr. Molina? No report. Nothing. And I'm mobile. Yes. Erica. No report. No report. Oh. Well, I would ask the chief if there were anything. Normally, <laughs> it's part of the group. But uh, all I can say is, you know, welcome aboard and. Next week we'll hit you hard. Thank you. Give me two weeks. <laughs> oh, and Brandis, I'm sorry. Uh, just if you have any budget items, we are in the process of working on our budget. So if you guys have any items, you can email me or Erica, and we'll try to squeeze them in. And then, so are we going to schedule a, the budget What's sessions that we have those marathon uh, <laughs> things on a Saturday morning or the Saturday afternoon or like a, a four or five hour? Sometime in March, and it's usually during our regular yeah. board meeting. Okay. Yeah. Make accommodation. Yeah, yeah. We get everybody together. That's great. Okay. And if I forgot anybody, no? Great. We'll continue on then. Uh, it takes us to public comments on non agenda items. So, is there anybody in the audience who would like to approach the board or present any questions on non agenda items? Seeing none, then we will. Uh, is there a need for an executive session? Anybody? No? Wonderful. Then I would like to thank you all for coming. Uh, and this will adjourn our meeting. Dated February 7th. Trustee Mommy. Wait, do we have a motion? We have a motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.